Hey everyone, I'm Connor and welcome to my channel, The Closet. If it's your first time here on my channel, I like to talk about all things luxury. So if that's something you're into, I'd love it if you could hit the subscribe button and just the bell button so you're notified when I bring out new videos. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. Now, before we get into today's video, can we just admire my Christmas tree? Yes, I know it's not bloody December, it's the 18th of November, but... I put a lot of effort into putting this tree up and it takes time. So I'm going to milk it for everything it's worth. Every hour it took for what it's worth. And you guys can admire it. Um, I just love it. Like I love it at night time when it's all dark and the Christmas lights are like, Boo! it's the best, absolute best. So I thought I'd film downstairs today in front of the tree. But today's video is going to be about my Fendi baguette that there was a, lot, a bit of a mixed reaction from you all regarding said baguette, which I, which was to be expected. Um, but I wanted to go over some of that in this video and also show you like mod shots, what fits in the bag, because I didn't want to put it all in the one video because it would go for too long. Um, so let's get into it. And if you're not familiar with my bread bag, well, you're about to find out in a few seconds because it's literally a baguette, like a bread bag. <laughs> and it's called bread. <laughs> so here is the baguette and it is 60 centimeters in width from this point to this point. So, um, and I didn't take the sticker off the buckle, so off the zipper pull. So let's do that together because we all love our Ooh, fresh. Um, so yeah, it's 60 centimeters and it's obviously made of shearling and it's the same on both sides. This side, it's got the little attachments for the strap. And then on the inside, it's just one big open space. There is two slip pockets here, which are about the width of a, like a phone that you can put in. Um, and then there's just the little Fendi thing, the Fendi tag. And then the rest is one big open pocket. So naturally, you're probably thinking, well, I want to know what you can fit in that. Um, and I'm not sure if it shows, like 60 centimeters, obviously, is probably most bags are about... 24 centimeters or 30 centimeters in width. So this is double what a normal bag would be in the width. So it can fit quite a bit. Now I obviously would never wear this bag maximum capacity because I just wouldn't have enough stuff to carry in it. Um, but I'll put my phone in. I'll put in my Louis Vuitton key holder. I'll put in my card holder. I'll put in some mints. I'll put in my AirPods. I'll put in my car key, I'll put in like a lip balm, and that all kind of <laughs> fills the baguette like that. Now that's obviously putting it width ways. You could put it stuff against each other. You could put, um, you could probably even get like a small cosmetics bag in there, like probably one that's like the width of these two together sort of thing. Um, maybe like a mini pochette, that sort of thing. Um, but it all kind of just fits in like that and then we'll zip it up and do this one handed and then the baguette's filled so it's still like pretty normal it doesn't feel heavy because obviously there's not much to the bag but you could fit anything in here because it's <laughs> it's such a like a unique shape um, oh, it's so soft baby bread oh my god I actually just love holding this I just want to hold it all day um, but yeah, that's pretty much how it is. Now, um, I'll insert mod shots of me wearing it. I'll try style it, not that that's really my thing, but we'll give it a go. Um, so that's pretty much the ins and outs of the baguette. There's not a lot to it. It's very, very simple. And then obviously the strap is black and it just hooks on. Um, it is fully adjustable. There's different notches there, clips onto the back, like on here, bumps your uncle, but you'll see it in the mod shots anyways. Now I got a few comments on that video and direct messages on Instagram about this bag. Some people were a bit like, I can't believe you've bought that bag. It's just stupid. Um, it's like impractical, like you're never gonna use it. It's so inconsistent with like your normal style. Um, like, did you just get it for content? Did you just get it for shock value? Blah, 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 blah. Um, as if, like I would do any of those things. Um, if I wanted to buy stuff for content, I would go and buy stuff for content off like other websites, film it and then return it. Who has time to do that? Um, I did not buy it for that reason. I bought it because I want to be 
more like less serious. I want to have more things in my collection um, that are more fun and they push the boundaries and are a bit more exciting. And I think all of the brands do come out with like novelty bags or, um, you know, more kind of pop culture looking things. And a lot of the bags I have in my collection, they are serious. They're very practical. I do love them. They do suit my style and they are my style, I guess. Um, but they're still very practical and I like if you know me in person I'm not a serious person like I'll find the humor in anything um, and I think if you've seen like collabs with Dale and I <laughs> Like where all we do is laugh and just tell stupid jokes and then laugh <laughs> So it would be more predictable for me to have fun bags. So <laughs> fun bags <laughs> Um, so yeah, like to answer that part of it, no, it definitely wasn't something out of shock value. I just thought it was so cool. Um, and it's just one of those things that grow when you, I guess, and when you can't get it out of your head, you just need to buy it. Um, also a few people were like, oh, where does the umbrella go? Like, does this come with an umbrella? So there's two versions of this bag, the norm, the one that I have, or it's just the baguette, or there is one that comes with an umbrella. I think it's about... 400 or $500 more than this version. And basically the umbrella hand, like it comes with an umbrella, but it would slot into this end and the handle would stick out. And then the pointy end of the umbrella would come through the hole here and point out. Um, so there is an umbrella version, but for me, um, like that bag's quite limited because I mean, the bag's limited in itself. It's not like you're taking it to a wedding. Um, but because it has the holes on either end, you can't, put anything else in it other than the umbrella because stuff would fall out. So this one seemed a lot more practical for me. Um, but yeah, I, look, at the end of the day, it's a bag, like it's a freaking baguette bag. I'm not going to take this, like I do not get this as something where I'm like, well, it's got to work for every day. It's fucking not going to work for every day. It's a piece of bread. It's fun. It's funny. It, it's, it's a bread, like it's a baguette bread bag. Like it's hilarious. And Dale has her Gary bird. Meredith has her duck bag and I have bread bag. So, and basically like who doesn't like carbs? It's pretty much like the epitome of my favorite kind of food. So it's very fitting if you actually think about it. <laughs> and you're probably thinking now that you've got this kind of bag for the first time, is it starting a trend for you? Are you going to be more attracted to kind of playful bags like this? Um, probably, I don't know. The first one's always the hardest and then once you kind of have the taste for blood that you're onto it. But um, Loewe just brought out this new uh, collaboration with this Japanese artist and they have a ringtail lima bag. Like it's an actual, I'll put a photo up. It's so, <laughs> and I was like, I can't carry that. I'm gonna look like fucking Noah's Ark by the end of it if I just keep collecting animals. Um, but I just did think, <laughs> <laughs> I did see it and I was just like, do I need this? I was like, no, come on, that's too much. Stick with your bread, stick with your bread. Um, but when you kind of do buy a bag, like the bread bag, you notice other brands and the other things that they have and then suddenly things seem a lot more, a lot more practical, a lot more, oh, okay, yeah, I could definitely carry that horse bag or, oh yeah, that whale bag looks pretty good. Oh, it's an elephant, yeah, cool. And, you're, and then you're like, no, I can't do this. <laughs> So look, never say never, but I'm definitely more attracted to some of the more novelty looking bags um, because I just think they're fun and like I'm a fun person, like hello, hand in hand. Um, yeah, but thanks so much for watching. Have I convinced you to buy the bread bag? Do you want to start looking at more fun bags in the future? Let me know in the comments down below. And also, do you like my Christmas tree? Because I put a lot of effort into that. So you should just give a comment just for the Christmas tree itself. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very shortly in my next video. Bye.